अब मेरा सादर अनुरोध लोकसभा में सबसे बड़े विपक्षी दल के नेता श्री अधिरंजन चौधरी जी से कि वे अपना संबोधन प्रस्तुत करें ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल स्पीकर लोकसभा ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर ऑफ बोथ द हाउसेस ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स खरगे जी all my senior leaders and distinguished esteemed colleagues of both lok sabha and rajya sabha having seen this opportunity without making any compunction without mincing any word i must state that i feel elevated and elated of having been stood in this podium which had witnessed a caravan of historical episode and numerous numerous momentous events in the midst of the galaxy of not it, it will not be known by simply its architectural splendor but its illustrious legacy now i come to the point that our ability to attain developed nation status by 2047 hinges on the active involvement of our citizens and the unwavering dedication of their representatives the groundwork laid in the formative years of our nationhood and also the subsequent years has empowered us significantly however we are confronted with intricate challenges that require immediate attention and resolution as we progress towards this objective i don't have any idea of what is called and how a country to be recognized as developed country by any designation i don't have any idea of any global consensus is existed or not because when we see other developed countries among the various key determinants one determinant is always followed that is human development index and in so far as human development index india has been lagging behind and we are ranked 131 out of 189 countries at present disconcerting reports reveal that the top 10% of india's population controls a staggering 77% of nation's total wealth in 2017 a staggering 73% of wealth generated has reportedly gravitated towards the wealthiest 1% while staggering 670 million indians constituting the poorest half of the population saw their wealth increase by a mere 1% this stark disparity presents a crucial challenge in ensuring that millions of people living below the poverty line have access to fundamental necessities like food shelter and healthcare a prerequisite for advancing towards developed nation status why india boasts of a sizable youth population high unemployment rates pose a significant hurdle to leveraging this demographic advantage addressing this challenge is paramount necessitating a concerted focus on job creation and the encouragement of entrepreneurship it is essential to enable india's youthful population to contribute substantially to the country's economic growth and development despite india being the world's fifth largest economy our per capita gdp falls far behind that of developed nation tackling this economic growth challenge requires pro growth government policies maintaining low inflation reducing interest rates elevating unemployment fostering a skilled workforce bolstering purchasing power stimulating demand and enhancing the healthcare and education sector india must prioritize the development of a globally competitive labor intensive manufacturing sector capable of generating significant employment opportunities in some addressing the pressing issue of high youth unemployment is a pivotal step for india's much to a developed nation status by 2047 i am impatient i do not want to wait till 2047 why not before 2047 to realize the vision of becoming developed nation india must pursue a growth trajectory that is both comprehensive and sustainable economic growth must be all inclusive 
benefiting every citizen and overarching focus on human development encompassing access to health care education and essential services must be implemented holistically the challenge of transforming india into a developed nation by 2047 are substantial encompassing poverty infrastructure deficit and environmental sustainability by implementing a holistic strategy that encompasses infrastructure development attraction of investment enhancement of education promotion of innovation social wealth welfare environmental conservation paying emphasis on manufacturing and integration of technology india can pave the way for its emergence as a developed nation it is only with unwavering determination collective commitment that the country can realize this visionary goal and unlock its potential on the global stage i will conclude by saying that dharti sikhate humne sabko bojh uthana gagan sikhate humne upar utte jana suraj ki lali se sikha jag alokit karna chanda ki kiranon se sikha sabko peera harna parvat ne sikhaye humne dhiro sankal banana nadi sikhaye humne aage badhte jana sagar ki sagar ki lehraon ne sikha dukh sukh mein dukh sukh sahe jana aur तूफान ये सिखलाते हैं आफत में ना घबराना और आफत से टकराना हम चाहते हैं कि ये सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर 